Hey guys, welcome to another lunchtime review. Today I'm going to be trying the Stouffer's Meatloaf Meal. It's ketchup glazed meatloaf and a homestyle gravy with russet mashed potatoes. Yeah, looks really, really good. I love ketchup with mashed, with uh, meatloaf. Um, dump it out. And let's see, it is 320 calories, which is not horrible. Cholesterol is a little high. Sodium is really, really high, but, but whatever. Um, so we're going to cut the film covered event. We're going to cook for four minutes on high and then five and a half minutes on 50% power. Uh, so it's going to take almost 10 minutes. By the time you get done doing everything, it's going to take 10 minutes. Still better than the 38 minutes it takes in the oven, but, but it will take a little while. Um, so here's the meal. Looks like you get a pretty good slab of meatloaf and quite a few mashed potatoes. Uh, it's almost full. So uh, I'm going to get this in the microwave and get it started and I'll be back when it comes out. Okay, after what seemed like ages in the microwave, this is what it looks like. Um, eh, get back up there. Um, didn't dry the potatoes out too bad. I was worried about the potatoes being dried out, but they're not, doesn't seem too bad. The, the sauce got a little dried out right there, but um, there is some liquid sauce over here. The meatloaf looks like it's pretty good. I think uh, there's probably enough oil and grease in the meatloaf to where uh, it's not gonna dry out too bad. I don't see any ketchup glaze. I guess there's, I don't know, a little bit around there. There's a bit of a, a gift. There's the bottom of it. So uh, I'm going to let this cool off. I'm going to stir these up really good and, and cut this up a little bit to where I can actually let it cool off and eat it. And uh, I'll be back. Hey, it's had some time to cool off. I'm going to try a bite of the meatloaf, for, I mean the uh, potatoes first. Just potatoes. Those are actually really good. They're um, those actually have more of a potato taste than some of them you get that kind of tastes um, pasty and, and imitation. Those actually taste pretty good. I'm going to dip it in a little bit of this gravy. Mm. Those are really good mashed potatoes. I don't know why, but they are really good. Um, I'm going to try a piece of meatloaf. i got plenty of the gravy on there and pretty big piece of meatloaf. That is excellent, actually. Um, good and tender. You can definitely taste the um, the glaze on there. I mean, it doesn't taste like ketchup, but you can definitely tell it's got a, a little bit of a glaze on there. Um, the gravy is really, really good. The meatloaf is good and tender. It's not um, it's not tough because I was I was kind of afraid it was going to be a little tough and and gristly maybe, but it's not. It's not at all. It's very tender. Mm. Tons of flavor in there. If you like meatloaf, I think you really like this. You could use a little more onion, maybe. Um, I like onion in my meatloaf. I don't taste some onion in this, but it's okay. I can live with it. Uh, it's a little greasy, though. I can see some grease down in the bottom of it, so definitely not a healthy meal. Um, potatoes are really good. The meatloaf's really good. If you mix a little bit of that gravy in the potatoes, it'd even be better. Um, overall, I'm going to give this one a four. It's may not, maybe not something I would eat you know, every week or anything, but it's definitely um, something I would look for and buy again. So I highly recommend the meatloaf if you can handle the calories and the sodium and the cholesterol. Um, it's really, really good. And I think uh, you'll be happily uh, pleased with it. So thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time.